Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics Vidya. In one of our last videos, we told you about five crucial elements of a prompt. And today, we'll give you a few more tips on how to write good prompts. These tips will help you get the exact output, coherent answers, and allow you to utilize the capabilities of a large language model like ChatGPT to the fullest. By the way, in case you have not checked out our previous videos in this series, I will leave a link to them in the description. On this note, let's begin. The first tip is to write clear and specific instructions and tell the model exactly what you want. Let me elaborate on this. Uh, let's say you want the model to complete a sentence, the sky is. But if you just write that uh, and expect the model to complete it for you, it might not work. We need to be more uh, specific and clear. This time, let's instruct the model to complete the sentence explicitly. Look at the result now. Another tactic uh, to write clear and specific instruction is to use delimiters like these to clearly indicate distinct parts of the input. Let me show you an example of this. Here, we use the triple backticks as a delimiter for input text. This is very important because with the help of these delimiters, the model knows that this is the text it should summarize and not focus on anything else. The aim of good prompting is to invoke the desired output. In tip number two, your motto uh, here should be show as well as tell. The models respond better when uh, you tell them to give output in a specified format. Let me show you an example of this. Let's say you want a structured output like HTML or JSON. So in the prompt, we are saying generate a list of uh, three uh, made up book titles along with their authors and genre. Provide them in a JSON format with the following keys, book ID, title, author and genre. And voila, look at uh, the output it provides. You can also articulate the desired output format through examplars like these. Tip number three can be a little advanced, but to get the desired results, sometimes it is good to try out techniques like few short prompting. Few short prompting is about providing examples of successful tasks you want performed before asking the model to do the actual task you want it to do. In this example, uh, we want the model to respond with metaphors. Uh, we give examples of what a metaphor is in the form of a conversation between a child and his grandpa. Just see how the model replies. This is just one type of prompting. There are other types like uh, zero-shot prompting or uh, context-based prompting. However, in this video, we'll not uh, cover them. This is just to give you an idea how various prompting techniques work. A good way to increase accuracy in your outputs is uh, give time to the model to think. Let's think of it in this way. If you give a model a task that's too complex for it to do in a short amount of time or in a smaller number of words, it may make up a guess which is likely to be incorrect. This is pretty much like how a real human being functions. In these situations where you are asking the model to perform a complex operation, it is better that you break the information and push the model to think longer about the problem. If you do so, the chances of coming up with an accurate answers are more. Let's see this example. Here we want to do multiple tasks from translating, figuring out names, and having a JSON output. That is a lot of work, so we break it down uh, one by one. As you can see, we have uh, the French translation and then we have the names. Finally, we have the JSON that we requested. Guys, let's be clear about one thing. There is no such thing called the perfect prompt. The important thing uh, you all should learn is to have a process for developing a good prompt for your specific task. Let me elaborate on this. Let's say you have an idea for uh, what you want to do, the task you want to complete, and uh, you can then take a first attempt at writing a prompt that hopefully is clear and specific and something that gives the LLM time to think. After this, you can uh, run it and see what results you get. Now, if it doesn't work well enough the first time, then the iterative process of figuring out why the instructions did not work is important. Maybe the instructions weren't uh, clear enough, or maybe you didn't give the LLM model uh, enough time to think. So you must refine the idea, refine the prompt, and go around this uh, iterative loop multiple times until you end up with a prompt that exactly gives what you want. Let me give you an example of this. I want to write a product description. The first time when I give the instruction, the output was too long. This is uh, too long for uh, my use case. So in order to shorten it, I update and tweak the prompt. 
and look now a simple tweak from the previous prompt gave me the output i wanted however there can be more uh, iterations depending upon what you want to achieve so guys these are the tips we have for you today remember these uh, while you are prompting next time and if uh, there is anything additional do let us know in the comments uh, below till then happy prompting to you bye